Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Ryan the Random DIY Guy here and today I'm going to show you how I took my kitchen cabinets from looking like this to this, refacing with front and center cabinet doors. Let's get into it. So before we get into it, I do want to do a quick overview of the process and talk about where these cabinet doors are from. So I partnered with Front and Center Cabinet Doors who specialize in refacing your cabinets direct to consumer DIY style. Now over at the website, myfrontcenter.com, they have a ton of different door styles and colors available. Um, this is their shaker style and salt color or also known as a white. Now the process is simple. You're gonna go ahead and order for new cabinet doors and you're gonna go ahead and paint your cabinet boxes and frames. Then you're gonna reinstall the new doors, put on some hardware and you got a brand new kitchen look without the hassle of a full on kitchen renovation. And in some cases you can also save some money versus buying all new cabinets. I should also mention that all their doors are constructed out of a high quality 3D laminate material, which means they're super easy to clean with virtually no maintenance, which is always a plus. So let's see how we get the job done. So the first step is really easy. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and find your hinges and remove all of your old cabinet doors. And then we're gonna come by after and make sure to clean all of our cabinet boxes and surfaces that are going to be painted with a degreaser and cleaner to make sure that we have a clean surface for our paint to adhere to. So after your cabinet boxes are all clean, the next step is to start sanding. But first I do wanna mention, this is the perfect time to make any modifications to your cabinetry. So I decided to take my cabinets to the ceiling by adding a small cabinet on top and then adding crown molding on top of that. I do plan on making a separate video on that later. So stay tuned for that. But in this specific case, you're gonna to wanna to use 120 to 180 grit sandpaper. I just use my orbital uh, sander like this. And you're just gonna wanna lightly go over all the cabinet boxes surfaces that will be painted. You're gonna want it to look kind of cloudy and dull and that's when you know you've sanded enough. After you've lightly sanded everything, come back and look at your cabinet frames and see if there's any spots that need some wood filler. Or in my case, when I put the two cabinets together, there was a seam between the two. So I used a high quality all purpose Bondo, which worked great to fill those seams. And it's gonna hold up a lot better than wood filler over time. So anything like that, make sure you go ahead and fill those lightly sand again before we start painting. Next, it's time to get painting. So what you're gonna wanna do is take your paint samples into your local favorite paint store. I like Sherwin-Williams, so I took it in there, had them color match this sample uh, for a gallon, of, or actually three gallons of paint, and then you'll have the perfect color to match your cabinet doors. And trust me, in the end, you can't even tell the difference. Hey, sorry to interrupt you guys, but first I really quickly wanna ask you to please consider uh, hitting that thumbs up and even subscribing, hitting that notification bell. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video like this one. So I hope you're enjoying the content and uh, we'll get back to it. Now, when it actually comes to applying the paint, there's a few different ways to do this. I decided to spray paint all my cabinetry because it gives you a much more smooth factory finish and it goes really quick. There are a lot of affordable paint sprayers out there on the market, so go ahead, do your research, and it's worth investigating. But if you're uncomfortable doing that, you can still get a really good finish with a brush and a roller. So go ahead then, brush and edge out your first coat of paint, then roll everything else in between. Once that's fully dry, come back with some sandpaper and lightly sand it until it's smooth. You're not removing any of that new paint, just smoothing it out, and then you can come back and do your second coat, and you're gonna get much better results. After everything is painted, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and read the manufacturer's instruction on the paint, uh, your specific paint, to see how long it takes for it to fully cure. Then, once it's fully cured, you can go ahead and start installing your new cabinet doors. Now, this is really simple as well. Just go ahead and knock your new hinges into place uh, with a mallet, and then you can go ahead and hang those onto the new cabinet doors. Once you have your hinges on your door, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and pre-drill to attach them to the frame. To do this, you're gonna go, wanna go ahead and take your hinge pattern, whatever you ordered, uh, you get to decide how far apart your hinges are kind of thing uh, when you order them. You're gonna wanna go ahead and take that hinge pattern minus the overlay, which is how much uh, your cabinet door is you measured to overlay onto the frame, subtract that, and then I'll give you the amount you need to measure up there. So I went ahead and did that, and then you can go ahead and um, line everything up along there. And last but not least, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and install your new cabinet hardware. I bought a jig off of Amazon for this. I'll link it in the storefront below, but it made life a lot easier. That way I could just continually drill the holes for all the cabinets. Everything lines up nice and perfectly in the end. So that made a big difference. Now let's take a look at the end results. There you 
you guys have it. That's the process I use to reface my kitchen cabinets using front and center cabinet doors. Um, if you haven't checked out their website already, run over there. I'll throw it up here and link it down below so you can check them out. They have everything you need to reface your kitchen cabinets um, and a ton of other accessories. So make sure to go check them out. And then also I wanted to mention what a difference it made being able to modify my cabinetry layout by adding a range hood, adding those upper cabinets and crown molding, spray painting it and buying all new cabinet doors. That's one huge benefit of refacing. Uh, you can make those modifications, get a more custom look kitchen without having to buy all these super expensive things. So um, yeah, head down to the comments. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Let me know what you think. And then um, I'll see you guys around next time.